previously on Minecraft X. And it is the great expedition of Expeditori, and I'm getting deja vu because I'm pretty sure I said that before. It was very easy to get lost. Hope I can find my way back. Got it. Wait. Okay, this is definitely a zombie dungeon, guys. Like, in all, like, definites, it's a zombie dungeon. Hey, everybody. We're off to a racing start here because there's already zombies attacking me. So, if you remember from last episode, we theorized that there might be a zombie dungeon around here because there's just so many zombies and skeletons, apparently. Ah, where are you? Where the heck are you? <laughs> Where is it? What? No. Nah. Oh, there you are. Stop shooting me. It hurts. Ooh, a bow. Do I have a bow? I don't know. Maybe there's just like a whole undead dungeon. It's like spawning undead. I mean, there's not that many an abnormal amount of skeletons. Ah. Okay, I'm pretty sure the zombie dungeon, if there is one, which I'm pretty sure there is, is off in this direction somewhere. Um, where is it? There's gotta be one. There's gotta be. Is this a ravine? No. Thank goodness that there's no creeper dungeons. That would be not optimal. Um, let's see. It's just gotta be a dungeon and I wanna find one. Okay, it's probably gonna be around here. It might be in the walls. So, is this where I started this episode? I believe so. Just gonna like try and explore around here and see if there's any zombie dungeons. And someone just came online on Skype. So that's always good. Maybe I'll talk to them after this. Or during it. Probably not. <laughs> so mining coal. It's like a coal miner because it's pretty self-explanatory. And yeah. And I've got like tons of rotten flesh to keep my strength up. So. So. I'm saying so too much. Hmm. Feel like an explorer. I, was, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Like, explorer just kind of came out weird, and I think I was gonna say something else, but I don't know what it was. Hmm. I I need to like get my health up to full, cause these zombie fleshes drop your hunger fast. But I'd like to re regenerate some health. And. I guess if times get tough, I can eat the potato or carrot, but I'd like to plant them. Because, especially the potatoes, because you can get baked potatoes, which are really good. Alright, so, it's more coal over there. And, I'm glad that we're finally in the cave exploring part of this. Um, is that a zombie over there? I think so. But it's a lone zombie. I think I've gone away from that zombie. There's got to be a dungeon. <laughs> I want there to be a dungeon. But I don't know where it is. Because dungeons are fun bun. And it, it'd be a good farm, too. Like, I don't think I'm going to destroy the spawner. But it's a good farm of, like, iron and rotten flesh and uh, torches. Oh. Okay. That's not great. I think I should have brought some wood down. But we've got lots of torches around here. So maybe we should like temporarily return to the surface to like resupply. If I can find my way out of here, of course. Um, here's stairs. That's pretty like an obvious This is we were not far at all from... Is this the place that goes back? Wow. How was how I that close? Alright, well I guess I'm not going to argue. Because that's a good thing. 
But that cave system has a lot of circles. It's just like always everything connecting into each other. So it's like, oh, here's a cave, bam, go into that cave, bam, into that cave, bam, bam, bam. And it's just sleepy time here. And sleepy time, sleepy shine. We're going to take sleepy time so that it'll be sunny, shiny time. Okie doke. So, uh, we've got a lot of wood. I don't know why I didn't, like, bring it with me. Um, alright, let's just deposit some stuff here. Like, valuables. And do that, and do that, and that should be a stack of torches. And I'll deposit the rest of the coal, because coal's in abundance down there. But I'll bring the wood with me, just in case, because wood is renewable. And I'll just change this into it, just so... So it's just kind of lonely in its own little stack there. So, just eat this, I guess. Oh, do you want the rotten flesh? Oh, he liked it. So, we're just going to eat that and just chill here. And, well, okay, I thought I saw something weird there. So, we're just going to kind of chill here for a second. And then we're going to, like, see, check our farms and stuff and then see if there are any uh... we're gonna go back into the cave yeah and we're gonna plant this and this so let's see here i think i'll keep that and make another bucket cause buckets are cool and i'll bring a bucket of water cause those are actually pretty useful things and i've got an endless ocean out there it's not endless but it a good sized ocean and it has an what I meant to say is that it's an infinite water source. So it was nighttime out here for a little bit, so at least there might be some mobs abound. I mean creepers mostly or things hiding under trees. So stuff isn't growing great, but I got bones to rescue. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm gonna plant uh, potato in this corner, and in this corner we have a potato, and in this corner we have a carrot, and they're gonna face off in a great battle of growing. Hello? Hello? Okay, that was weird. Um, so I think that I'm gonna grow a potato. Oh, that gave me a lot of potatoes. Um, grow potatoes, grow, and mm hmm. Oh, shouldn't have broken that. I thought it just grew in two hits. I'm sorry, it was instinctual. So I'm just gonna grow those two. I'm gonna take these three, and I'm gonna bake them into baked potatoes. So those are good things to eat. <laughs> so this is my food furnace over here. And nah nah. Because yes, a wooden plank smelts 1.5 things, so it's a good little thing to do things that are little. And we'll check our mushroom farm. And oh, we didn't get everything out of here. Thought we did. And we'll put these wheat, this wheat, these wheat. Well, yes, these wheat. I don't even know what I'm talking about. In the chest with these wheat, and we'll make a piece of bread. And, ooh, there's iron in there. And bread, and you can go in there. And you can also go in there. And go in there, and da na na na. Wow, there's a lot of things going on right now. It's just like so many things to smell and eat and yeah. And I don't really need that right now nor that. And I'll plant these and eat these. So I'm pretty sure a baked potato eats three. Yeah. And I think it has good, pretty good saturation. So we'll be golden. Oh, and some of the wheat grew already. I wonder if, like, chunk loading is a thing. Because I'm pretty sure crops don't grow when the chunk isn't loaded. For those of you who don't know about chunk loading, it's basically 
Um, well, there are 16 by 16 areas in Minecraft, like 16 by 16 blocks, that um, like load up as a whole. And if you're not near them when you log in, they'll unload. And nothing will happen in those chunks, like f furnaces won't cook, crops won't grow. So, yeah. And there's some... And there are a lot of mods out there, because you should know if you're watching my FTB series, that cause automation. And chunk loading can be a big thing, so those mods will add, like, chunk loaders, which are blocks that will, like, load chunks whether you're near them or not. But this is a vanilla series, so we're not going to be doing that. And there's not too much to worry about when chunks aren't loaded. Just my little farm, and we've got that to be able to do that. And there's more seeds, yay. Okay. I love that you can do that, just kind of like drag it across and it's like, bam. Shabam. So, after I plant these seeds, I think I'm going to wrap up. And next episode, we're going to go back into the caves and do more cave exploring. And, bam. Mm, where can I plant this that's OCD friendly? Nowhere, really. It's there. Whatever. Alright, guys. I'll see you later.